All right, welcome back to our post-round interview here. After round number one, match number four, Thailand Mix hosted by Trust Golf, accompanied by another Australian player, James Gibellani. Uh, I'm hoping I didn't butcher That's that That's pronunciation good. completely. Good. Good. Um, obviously made the cut last week, great performance, nine points so far today. Uh, talk to us, what was good, what was bad, what, what do you want to see improve going into the final days here? Yeah, that was a pretty solid start, I was happy with that. We were lucky today, we got to play with Ted, the champ from last week, mm. so he showed us he showed us how it's done around here. I was wondering, how would those guys shoot those scores last week? Now I know. Now like, you know, exactly. He's hitting driver, not even driver, like three wood every on these par fours, hitting greens. It was impressive. Yeah. It, it kind of made me be a bit more aggressive today as well. That's neat, that's yeah. neat. He certainly is a long bomber. Congratulations yeah. to him on being a champion. Yeah. Uh, but back to you, James, what do you think will help you or what do you think will be some of the main keys that will allow you to shoot some of those low scores here on this golf course here at Gusan Kuntan? Yeah, I think you just really got to be um, confident in your long game. So if you're going for those par fours, you got to try and hit it close to the flags, mm -hmm. try and get those five pointers. Mm -hmm. um, you really can't be tentative on those shots because either side you've got hazard on most of the holes. Mm. So you've got to really trust your, trust your shots and go for them out here. Yeah, absolutely. As we saw on our live streaming, right, on like number one and number 10, those are eagle ball par fours. But we also saw lots of big numbers there. And the key moment that you said there was when you go for it, you got to try to actually hit it tight, not yeah. just around the greens because they're still become very hard up and downs yeah. from those positions. Yeah. Um, James, obviously, first time here with us uh, at Trust Golf Tour, made the cut last week, nine points so far today. Let the viewers at home in Australia know a little bit, what has been the biggest difference playing in uh, back at home for you mm -hmm. and here at Gusan Kuntan? Okay, um, I guess I'm living in Melbourne at the moment, so the heat that's getting to me, it's like 30, 35 degrees here every day. <laughs> It's a battle. I feel like I'm just battling against the heat <laughs> instead of the golf course. Yeah. Um, but it is the course here is very similar to where I'm from in Queensland. The grasses are similar, mm. so that's nice. Like putting on these greens isn't too different mm. to back home. So mm. I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. Fantastic. It's been great. All right. Well, one last little question. Yeah. Uh, talk to us. How did you get the shiner there on your right <laughs> eye? How did you get that black eye? Uh, did you get in a tussle with somebody wish, or what, what was I, going on? I wish it was a good story, but we were just out, you know, enjoying ourselves in Chiang Mai on the two days off. And yeah, I just got in the middle of a little scuffle at a bar and someone got pushed into me. And, oh, no. Know, caught the back of a head on my eye. Yeah, and now I look like I got a good shiner. And, I'd like to say I was in a Muay Thai fight, but that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly should have exaggerated. Uh, but certainly, uh, thank you for being such a good sport, sharing us with the insight on the course, your inside play, and then, of yeah. course, the experience in Chiang Mai as well. No Hopefully, worries. when you go home, you will tell all your friends about the whole experience <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, I appreciate your time you and good luck tomorrow me. as well. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.